Okay, so today we're gonna do a video for rolling out and doing self-massage to the muscles of the lower back. So these get really tight from holding and we can get a lot of good release of these muscles by doing self-massage. What I'm gonna be using today are these balls which are called yoga tune-up balls. These can be found at tuneupfitness.com and this is a technique that was developed by Jill Miller at tuneupfitness.com. I'm gonna start by laying on my back and I'm gonna be taking the balls right in this area between the, the top of the pelvis and the bottom of that last rib, this area right in between is about where I'm gonna be putting the balls. So to start, I'm just gonna take both balls, lift up and place them in that area and just sink down and take some breaths right here and let my muscles just kind of melt into the balls. So I see how this feels. If it's really intense, I might be just here. Those muscles might be really tight. You wanna be able to relax the whole time and feel like you're doing something, but it shouldn't be that I'm, I'm holding or I'm using the muscles of my face to grimace because it hurts that bad. So if that happens, that's too much and you wanna back off. And if that doesn't happen and you could t do a little bit more, what you could do is kind of lift up a little bit with my pelvis and lift back down. That makes things a lot more intense underneath the balls. I can do that a few times. I can be up, hands down, and use my feet and just kind of scrub my body a little bit up and down this way on the balls. I could also move my body side to side a little bit on the balls, and I can make a circle. <sighs> Always breathing nice and deep. So that's gonna really get into those muscles. Now if I'm ready for more, here's something intense that you could do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a yoga block and I'm gonna put it underneath my back. So I'm not gonna put it here like you would for a supported bridge. I'm gonna bring it all the way up so it's right on those back muscles, kind of like my pelvis drops a little bit off of it when I relax. And then I'm gonna do one side at a time. So this will be my left side. I pick up the ball, place it in those muscles, and relax my hips down. And that is a whole lot more intense. So same sequence, just relaxed and breathing. I can add some little tilts of my pelvis up and down. Okay, a few times there, making sure I'm relaxed, my face is relaxed, all the other muscles in my body are relaxed. If I wanna go more intense, I let my left leg go long. I let my left hand come up and over my body so I'm creating all this length through that left side. I just think I need the ball pinch over toward midline. So I'm here. And then what I could do is I could start to roll my body as if I'm going to roll up towards the left side or roll over my left side and kind of lean onto the ball and off the ball. So this feels really good to me right now, but the first time I did this, it was really intense and I was only able to move a tiny little bit. So I'm doing this. I could also move my pelvis a little bit up and down. And that's the technique. And now as I'm done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the balls off, lift up, and just Feel my body and feel how it's different. So ideally I would have done this even before I started, just feel my body on the floor. And now that I'm done, I can make my legs long, close my eyes, and wow, I can really just feel a difference in the relaxation of my muscles and the contact of my muscles down on the ground. And I can see how it feels to breathe now. And does my breathing feel less restricted? and better able for me to breathe into my side body, which it certainly does. Okay, thank you.